Hello and welcome back to another video on the Cole Griffith Racing YouTube channel and Facebook page. And this is my favorite video to make all year. Um, it's the Wise Zone 100. This is the race that we prepare for. We work so hard for all summer long just to get up to this point in our season. As I think this is the biggest show we run. And this year I think it was bigger, bigger if not equal to last year. So, I mean, the prestige is still there and we were still racing against some very good cars. And uh, I'm just super excited to get into it, so let's get into the video. The way the Wiseau 100 works is they race Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Wednesday through Friday, you run a heat race, and you accumulate passing points uh, from your heat race, and they only take the top 24 out of those passing points to the feature. So there's no B-mains those nights, just heats and just features. So you have to be in the top 24 in passing points. Now last year we ended up making all three of those features but did not end up making this feature on Saturday night, finishing one spot out of the transfer in the B-Man on Saturday. So we were ready to go and we were we were trying to make all three again, but uh, we were mainly just trying to make that feature on Saturday night. That was our goal. And I think if you remember back to the goals video in the beginning of the year, uh, I said that that was one of our goals was to make the West Auto 100. So we wanted to just do better. What they did is Wednesday, or yeah, Wednesday through Friday they took, and in that feature they took the top eight cars to Saturday's feature. So if you got in on Wednesday, you didn't have to race Thursday or Friday. Kind of a confusing format. A uh, little bit different than anything we've really raced with before. But So if we were able to get in on Wednesday night, we were definitely going to take that. We weren't going to risk trying to get in uh, Thursday or Friday or anything like that. So... Uh, this is the Wednesday night and Thursday night portion of the video and so obviously we ended up racing we ended up racing all four nights I'm just gonna say that so let's get into the heat race action I'm gonna be rolling off from the last starting spot of like 11 cars or something in an eight lap heat race where I have to try and pass as many cars as I can to try and get into that top 24 for the feature later on tonight come on buddy have a good race As you see in there, uh, I passed a lot of cars. I think I ended up fourth overall because the one guy in front of me got disqualified. Really, really good going from 11th to fourth, and that was probably one of the better passing points I got there. I think I was rolling off from the eighth starting spot in the feature, so I just kind of had to stay there and maintain. But uh, yeah, we just kind of started weaving our way through traffic there. There were when there's 60, or I think there's around 65 cars there, 65 streeters that night. Uh, when there's that many cars, there's going to be a lot of good cars, but there are also some cars that you know you know you can beat, so you just kind of have to go where they don't. And that's kind of a big thing for this, or for that heat race there, was we had a few of those cars that were like, okay, we've raced against these guys before, and we know what they're going to do. So we just had to go out there and go where they didn't, and 
I think that's what made us get to the front relatively quick and uh, put us in a good starting spot for the A-Man. So we're going to roll off for the A-Man, like I said, in the eighth starting spot and see if we can't make the Wise Little 100 on the first night. <laughs> And it was a good start to the week, ending up 10th or 11th, I believe. Uh, so we didn't make the transfer, but like I said, it was a good starting spot because we, the cars that beat us were super, super fast cars. And I think there were three of them that, th or two of them that threw out, so they were going to be back in. So the nice part about this is that they took the eight fastest cars and took them out. So then we, theoretically, I mean, we have a better shot with the faster cars being out. So we were super excited about that, and uh, and we also had something to, something to build off of for the rest of the week. I don't really know what I was doing in the first half of that race, running the bottom like that. I just didn't have any traction, and it just once I moved up on the racetrack a little bit, it felt a little bit better, and started to pass some more cars. Those like, started to pass some more cars that passed me earlier in the race, and so that was really nice. At the end there, I was right there for the transfer spot, but I just got just ran out of time, and they were running side by side in my lane. It just got tough. So, you know, we'll take an 11th place finish on the first night, and we'll move on to night number two. Now, night number two of the Wyzota 100, this is Thursday night's portion of the video. There's no, it wasn't short of excitement at all. We took, and we ran our heat race, and we started ninth again, so they, like, we just couldn't draw well at all. But, I mean, for passing points, I suppose it was decent, but I'd rather start fourth and have a shot at winning it than start ninth, and, you know, you don't have a good shot at winning, so... Uh, we took and we were we were gonna go with what we got. We can't really change that. So we had some very very fast cars in our heat this this night, and we knew we had to get by them. So uh, like I said, we're rolling off in the ninth starting spot, and here's the here's the heat. Come on, buddy, have a good race. Oh! <laughs> 
Now, I don't think I've ever driven so hard than I did in those last three laps, but I did have one problem, and that's in Fergus Falls, they have billboards in turns three and four where the sun comes down, so it really kind of shades turns three and four. And with the races starting at like five or something, the sun still had a lot of time. Um, I mean, it was still up for a long time. So it ended up drying out one and two quite a bit. It didn't really look like in the video, and it wasn't really that dry. But three and four were still really muddy, and one and two was not. So my, that was my issue, was I was driving one and two like I was driving three and four. Where three and four, you could be pretty much wide open, and one and two, you really had to... I mean, you really had to be aware of what you were doing and be careful, so that was my issue, but like I said, I don't think I've ever driven so hard in three and four. I made up a lot of ground, and it was that was super, super awesome for us, and we're like, okay, we really, really do have a chance now, because the cars that were in front of us are no slouches, and I mean, we knew that, but I mean, going ninth to fifth at the YZL 100 heat race, we'll take that, so we're gonna, we barely made the feature this night, though rolling off from the 21st starting position I believe. We knew that there was a lot of good cars in front of us rolling off from the 21st starting position and needing to get to 8th. We knew that was a lot of good cars so we we were just going to try and go forward as far as we can and whatever we finish we finish. We'll just use those points to uh, see if we can't start good in a B main if we don't make it. So like I said we're rolling off from the 21st starting position and we're going to see if we can't move forward. <laughs> there and it was it was kind of difficult just because there were so many cars in front of you and you had to watch so far ahead because you know they were there everybody wants to get eight that's the thing so people are gonna wreck other people to get there so you just kind of had to try and avoid that stuff just kind of race your own race and in my case I guess just wait for other people to mess up and, and get by them at that point so we had a good run 
ended up 12th, I believe, 12th or 13th, and so we still weren't in, but we had a very, very good race car, and had two stellar nights of racing, so, so far we've ended up 11th and 13th out of 60 or 65 cars, so our Wise Auto 100 was already looking better than last year, but we aren't done yet, we have to try and get into the feature, which will be in a different video, and where I plan to race, or put in Friday and Saturday's races into the next video. So I guess we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, and a boom, boom, boom. I'll pull the lights.